sushi isn't really wasabi. Check the ingredients on the packet and you might see a mixture of sweetener, horseradish, and perhaps a small percentage of the real thing. Real wasabi is hard to come across and it can cost $250 per kilo. So what actually is wasabi and why is it so expensive? Wasabi is a small green plant in the brassica family. That means it's related to many cheap and easy to find plants like horseradish, cabbage or broccoli. But unlike these, it's incredibly expensive. A kilogram of fresh wasabi can cost you 25 times as much as fresh horseradish. The main reason for this huge price is down to the process of growing it. Wasabi is known for being the hardest plant to grow commercially in the world. The only place in the world where it can be found growing naturally is alongside Japanese mountain streams where it has the very specific conditions it needs to thrive. Wasabi needs a constant supply of running spring water. It likes a shady area and rocky soil or gravel and it can only tolerate a temperature of around 8 to 20 degrees Celsius all year round. Too much humidity or the wrong minerals can also cause problems for the plant and on top of that it's susceptible to pests and disease. While wasabi is still mostly grown in Japan, the Wasabi Company was the first to grow wasabi commercially in Europe. We're watercress farmers, that's, um, that's what we've been doing uh, for a long time and we tried several different things and wasabi came to us uh, via a chef who was visiting a watercress farm and said the only thing I've ever seen growing like this, watercress grows in flowing water in gravel beds, he said was um, wasabi growing in Japan. All of our beds flow with natural spring water that comes out of the ground from artesian springs. When the water comes out of the ground from 40 meters below, it's at 10, 11 degrees. Obviously, it warms in the summer as it goes through the bed and it cools, but it has a very effective balancing effect on the extremes of temperature. Uh, and we cover the beds with shade net so that we keep the, the worst of the winter cold and the, and the summer sun off the plant. When all the conditions are just right, wasabi still takes around 18 months before it can be harvested. And it's still a time-consuming process because absolutely everything has to be done by hand. The harvesting will be done by hand and then it's a laborious process to break it apart, uh, the whole plant, and then clean up the rhizomes. There's no machine that's gonna, gonna help you pull this out of the ground and, and trim it up fit for the sushi counter. After our 18 months, we harvest our wasabi, and this is a, a stem, sometimes called a rhizome, but more botanically correct is to call it a stem, formed as the leaves drop away. The remaining part of the leaf creates a stem. And we get our special grater, which has very, very fine teeth, and you can see that it doesn't have a, um, any holes on the back. We're not after really grating the wasabi, we're after pasting. We don't go too fast because we want to break it down at the cellular level. And if you're not seeing it grated fresh in front of you, then it's very unlikely it's fresh wasabi. So what does real wasabi taste like? And is it really that different from the paste that we're used to? It's a bit more gentle, a little bit more like earthy. Um, kind of almost like a sweet aftertaste on that one. The aftertaste is way more, way more pleasant on the real one than it is on the fake one. The fake one, I kind of just taste mustard and horseradish. And the real one tastes like, it tastes like wasabi, but I don't get those undertones. It's like, it's a completely different thing. It tastes so much more like a vegetable, it tastes earthy. I mean, it's really nice. There's one other reason that you probably don't see wasabi products in your local supermarket or restaurant. Wasabi's spice comes from a chemical reaction that occurs when you break down its cells. But this reaction is short-lived. Five minutes after you've grated the wasabi, the spicy flavor peaks. But leave it for 30 minutes and almost all of the flavor is gone. If you take a slice of wasabi and eat it like a carrot, you'll get very little flavor, only what your teeth are able to break down. The, um, the grater breaks down the cell's walls, brings the two compounds together, and a significant factor in that chemical reaction is the byproduct, which is sucrose, so you get a natural 
sweetness in wasabi. And that's what surprises people when they eat it. Wasabi is naturally sweet and it's very floral, much more aromatic, and it still has the, the pungency that everyone's familiar with. Fresh wasabi may be the real thing, but it doesn't look like fake wasabi is going away anytime soon. Once you've had the fresh wasabi, you understand the difference. You know, there's a place for the imitation paste. You can't, you know, get fresh wasabi into a small sushi takeaway box. You know, you need your grater. You know, you need to, you need to treat it with a certain amount of reverence, and it's expensive. So there's, there's a place for the imitation products. But I'd encourage anyone to try fresh wasabi because it's the real thing.